Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the create WBS process. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, the create WBS process takes the well-defined deliverables and requirements and begins the process of breaking down the work via WBS. WBS stands for Work Breakdown Structure, which defines the scope of the project and breaks the work down into components that can be scheduled and estimated, as well as, uh, as, well as easily monitored and controlled. The WBS should detail the full scope of work needed to complete the project. Create WBS is the process of subdividing project deliverables and project work into smaller, more manageable components. The key benefit of this process is that it provides a framework of what has to be delivered. The PMBOK Guide Project Management Body of Knowledge defines WBS as a deliverable oriented hierarchical decomposition of the work to be executed by the project team. Most project managers create diagram in illustrating the project schedule and thereby their chain of thought. For example, the WBS clearly defines the scope in chunks that can be managed by several levels of people at the projected time. The input for this process are a project management plan. Project management plan is basically one of the major component of the project management uh, in, in the scope management plan basically. The scope management plan specifies how to create the WBS from the detailed project scope uh, statement which focuses on how the project scope is defined, developed, monitored, controlled and verified. Based on these features, the WBS will be monitored, maintained and approved. Next is the project documents. Uh, the example of project documents like project scope statement and requirement documents. Next is the enterprise environmental factor. Basically, enterprise environmental factors influence the organization, the project and its outcome. Every organization has to live and work within the uh, enterprise environmental factor. The enterprise environmental factor can be either internal or external. Next is the organizational process assets, which are basically the policies, procedures and templates for the WBS. Project files from previous, pro previous projects and the lesson learned from past projects. So these are the inputs. Now we can talk about the uh, tools uh, for this process. First one is the expert judgment. Expert judgment is basically to create an effective WBS. Expert judgment is always essential because the expertise of experts is used to analyze the new information needed to decompose the project deliverables down into smaller parts. Such analysis and expertise is applied to technical uh, details of the project scope and used to reconcile differences in opinion on how to best break down the overall scope of the project. Next is the decomposition. Decomposition means the breaking down the project deliverables into smaller, more manageable components is called the decomposition. The breakdown should not be done until the cost and schedule for the work can be reliably uh, estimated. The level of detail for work packages will depend on the size and complexity of the project. Okay, next uh, is the output. Uh, first output is basically the scope baseline. Uh, the scope baseline is basically is the approved version of a scope statement, work breakdown structure and its associated WBS direct, uh, dictionary that can be changed only through formal change control procedures and is used as a basis for comparison. And project document updates is another output of this whole process. Project documents that may be updated include but are not limited to requirement documentation which may need to be updated to incorporate approved changes. If approved change requests result from the create WBS process, then the requirements decomposition may need to be updated to include recommended changes. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video.